Does Wizard 101 update this game too fast? Hello everyone, welcome to another video on the channel, and in today's video, I'd like to talk about players who say the game updates too fast, and players who say that game updates too slow. I feel like most players who are gonna watch this video are gonna say that they want more updates and ways, and that the updates are actually too slow, and they're not too fast. But in my video today, I'm gonna talk about both sides of the spectrum, and what parts of the community it comes from, and all. And I think it's important to realize that Kingstyle listens to both ends of the community, not just creators, and obviously not just people who do PvP and all. So let's talk about PvP and advanced content and all. And this is the part of the community that argues that the game updates way too slow and all. Um, now there are some people out there who are gonna say, you know, things change too fast and all. And I will address that as well. I can kind of tie that in with the game updates too fast, I guess, here as well. But basically, um, PvP meta, right? It only changes once every year on average, right? So look at last year, right? That was the Banshee meta for the entire year. This year is the Death Drain meta and PvE strats for the entire year. Now, obviously, if a meta is going to stay for an entire year or years, like plural in some cases, um, players are going to get burned out of that and all, and that's what you see a lot of, right, is a lot of new players will get in, try PvP and be like, wow, this game is stupid, sucks, and is unbalanced. Or they'll get past that, get over things, get better at the game, and rank up and be like, wow, this game really, really is bad and unbalanced. Holy cow, I'm stop. I'm going to stop playing this game. And that essentially is the Wizard 101 PvP cycle i like to call it it's just really not fun because it typically comes down to one or two meta schools where they always do the same three maybe four moves no matter what matchup they have whether it's a good matchup a counter matchup a bad matchup a neutral matchup or whatever it's always the same things and it's really boring to play and it's really boring to play against i don't think a single person who actually does pvp would argue that the game updates and the meta updates too fast because I'm sorry, but if you cannot keep track of a meta that lasts an entire year, I think that is a skill issue and you need to really reflect and look in the mirror on things. On the other side of the spectrum, I think the people who say things update too fast in PvP are not talking about PvP itself. I think they're talking about the barrier to entry to PvP. So, a good example I can use is, um, you know, let's say last year or whatever, the last meta, um, you wanted storm pins on your death to Kraken, right? And this year, you want instead fire or myth pins. The fire and the myth pins, you have to get an entire set of pins that takes forever. It's really, really annoying to do. And that doesn't just go for pins, right guys? That goes for pets, that goes for like, you know, minor gear changes in the meta. You might want a shield pin instead of a power pin, right? Power pins are meta right now, generally. Last year, it was like outgoing pins and stuff like that. So I believe the actual issue here is the barrier to entry of every part of PvP, whether it's like spellaments, raids, and pets, and TC, all that stuff. It's not the actual PvP meta itself, because like I said, if you cannot keep track with one meta that lasts an entire year, that is a you problem. It's extremely easy, like you, you don't even have to try, bro. So people will say, oh, PvP changes too fast and all, but what you're saying instead is actually the barrier to entry is so high and the little minor changes are not rewarding enough and it's too much work to keep up with, which again, I agree with. And I think anybody watching this video would agree with that sentiment. Now let's talk about the polar opposite side of this. You have the extremist people who say that, oh, PvP or whatever, the entire game is changing too fast and all. Um, I'm trying to understand this. To my understanding, it's either someone who is trying to get into PvP like I talked about just a minute ago, or it's a returning player. And I'm sorry, I don't want to sound like an asshole in this video, even though I kind of am. I'm sorry, but if you are a returning player, you cannot say that the game has changed too much and updated too much if you haven't played since like 140, level 80, or level 100. Obviously, if you haven't played in four, five, six years, yes, the game is going to be completely different. But if you're an actual active member in the community, you literally get one piece of PvE content a year. A year! A year, bro. And I'm not counting the rematches. That's recycled content. That's boring. It's repetitive. I'm not talking about the raid, which only 1-5% to of the player base can actually do and get in, because that's inaccessible. That's not 
the content the actual majority of the game can do. I'm not talking about a gauntlet either, because a gauntlet you do it once or twice and it's done. It's boring and gets repetitive just like the rematches. That's not PvE content. PvE content is actual stuff like a side world and a main world. That's what players want when they say PvE content and stuff to do in the game. Because I'm thinking active PvE players wouldn't make the argument that the game updates too fast and all, right? Because if you're already done the game, like I said, it's one piece of PvE content a year that's substantial, substa substantial and doable and reasonable to do. Right, if you can't keep up with that, like I, I, I don't know how to help you. Like you, you need to do better, dude. I'm sorry. It's just really frustrating because, like I said, it's either the PvP barrier to entry, which is too high, which I agree, or it's returning players commenting on things they don't know about in the game, and that's a really bad thing because Kingstyle actually listens to the players who are saying, "Oh, the game updates too fast." Even though, again, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this bold, loud, and proud majority of the game agrees that the updates are too slow way too slow again one pvp meta a year and one pve update a year that's substantial accessible and like fun to do that is not good when you pay 12 months of membership is bad this goes for pvp as well right like you have the wizard 101 discord where you have players who haven't played the game in like six years commenting commenting about the meta and stuff like that and it's just like dude like you don't know what you're talking about and I think a lot of this comes from the Shambo update because I get comments all the time on my videos like, Liam, why do you always hate that death has poison or ice has frostbite and all? And it's like, you guys are getting mad at <laughs> the wrong person. King's Isle set out new rules with her Shambo and not to sound like an asshole here, but you should probably educate yourself on her Shambo because every school ever since 2020, the past like four, three, three or four years, has gotten changed drastically. Storm is no longer glass cannon identity, right? Ice and death are not overtime schools. You could argue they were before, before Shambo, but now they're not anymore, right? Ice is trap, weakness, and shield. Death is shield, blade, and weakness. They have nothing to do with overtimes anymore. So if you wanna actually keep up with the times and educate yourself, watch a video on Shambo. It will tell you everything you need to know and why players are frustrated with certain parts of the game. A good example I can use on the Storm is a Storm is a hot, it is a weakness, and a blade school, right? So Storm, having a spell like um, Enfeeble, where is it? I need to find it. I'm super slow today. I'm sorry. Enfeeble, right here. It got banned because Storm should not have one of the best blade removal uh, cards in the game because you have nothing to do with countering blades on a storm. So that's kind of why advanced content in PvP is super unbalanced right now because you have some schools like Storm where they actually got their cards banned, but you have other schools like Ice and Death that have Frostbite and Poison, those legacy cards, or Myth that has Shift as well, right? Myth is not supposed to be countering overtimes with an Urshambo. So like, it's just kind of weird when you guys get mad at me for this stuff, but it's like the developer's choice to choose to enforce these rules and choose to completely change all of the school identities that we knew since like 2008 when the game came out. I would go as far to say that majority of the player base honestly does not like Rishambo and would like to go back to how things were before Rishambo. But again, guys, I'm just being real. I'm telling you how it is. That's what we do on this channel. I don't sugarcoat things. Rishambo is here. It's been here for years and I don't see any indications of it going away, unfortunately. So I'm just telling you how it is, man. So yeah, to conclude the video here, I think the game does not update anywhere near as fast enough. I think it should be updating probably at least three times more than the current schedule they're going on right now, I'd say. Um, and as King Zal, you should be understanding where the complaint is coming from because like I said, I can only think it's a returning player who again doesn't have a valid opinion of things updating too fast if you haven't played the game in literal years. Of course, there's gonna be things to do and you don't understand there's only one PvE update a year or it's players who are trying to get into PvP and stuff but the gear and the pets take so long to make and all by the time they get the gear and the pets um, stuff may have potentially changed and all, or they might not be interested in doing PvP anymore, right? That is the two main complaints of the player base who says, oh, things update to update way too fast, which you can do something about the barrier to entry, but you can't do anything about people who just don't know what the hell they're talking about as returning players. And I can already see, I'm gonna get a comment down there below where people are like, oh, Liam, you're sounding like an elitist right now. You think they don't wanna to listen to the PvE community. That's literally not what I'm saying, right? There's a bunch of active PvE players out there in the game who want the game to get updated. They wanna have like a 
you know, two worlds a year, like a side world, main world, whatever, whatever it might be, right? And everyone's opinion is valid at the end of the day, right? If you play the game and stuff, your opinion is valid. But people should not be talking about the PvP meta if you do not play PvP at all. Or you shouldn't be talking about things updating too fast when you haven't played the game in literally like 4 to 6 to 12 years. That's ridiculous, man. That's ridiculous. And I don't think that's unreasonable to say. I'm sorry, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this video. I um, I think it kind of needs to be said. And I know I know someone's just going to be there in the comments being like, Oh my god, Liam, you're, you're being so toxic. Um, the devs always listen to you and other creators. And um, I, I find that kind of funny, right? Because um, if the devs only listen to me or other creators, why has Storm still been objectively the worst school for the past three years? Even though I make videos and I talk about it nearly every damn day, as you guys may know if you've seen my channel before, um, Rapier just recently put out the recent run rates, and what do you know? Storm is still last place, even though I've been talking to the devs in a roundtable, Discord DMs nearly every day, made videos for years, uh, stream for years, they just don't listen. So, y'all, I'm sorry you can't make that argument. I understand some things might make it look that way, but... Again, I'm just dropping truth bombs right here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope to see you on the next one. Let me know your thoughts and feedback down there in the comments below. And I'll see you later. Thank you for watching and take care.